our new platform bending artificial intelligence to our collective will. A letter from the Chief Executive Officer, April 7, 2023. Our software and company were built for this moment. The advent of more generalizable artificial intelligence systems has begun to materially transform and advance the business we founded nearly two decades ago. The momentum that we are seeing across our operations, both in the technical development of our software platforms and the acquisition of new customers that such development has made possible, particularly in the United States, has significantly accelerated in recent months. We are working on and will be releasing shortly our new artificial intelligence platform, AIP, which combines the machine learning technologies that we have developed for industrial and military partners with the latest large language models that have recently captured public attention for customers across the commercial and government sectors. The deployment of artificial intelligence in these novel contexts will only be made possible by foundational data platforms that enable the imposition of the legal and ethical constraints, as well as the implementation of regulatory requirements that now govern the use of data across industries and national boundaries. And we have spent two decades building those platforms. There has been significant discussion regarding the alignment, or perhaps lack thereof, between artificial intelligence systems and the values of the society that has constructed such systems and within which they must operate. From the start, we have built our software products on the premise that granular access controls, which constrain which specific users can access what data and under which conditions, as well as limitations on the ability of a system itself to access data across an informational network, were essential not only to the efficacy of the systems themselves, but to their adoption and acceptance by the public. Access controls alone, however, are not sufficient. We believe that the principal features of our software, which allows for the imposition on data of what we describe as an ontology, a means of ensuring that such data reflects the structure of and actual objects in the real world, and incorporates branching capabilities that we have developed for the data models themselves, will come to be required by organizations that seek to implement artificial intelligence within the legal and regulatory, as well as moral, confines of their enterprises. Every large organization in the world will soon require a system with these capabilities. We will be releasing our platform to companies across commercial sectors, including the aviation, manufacturing, energy, banking, mining, pharmaceutical, and automotive industries, as well as to government partners, including leading defense and intelligence agencies across the United States and its allies in Europe and around the world. AIP will allow customers to leverage the power of our existing machine learning technologies alongside the increasingly sophisticated natural language processing capabilities of the newest large language models directly in our existing platforms, including Foundry and Gotham, which are now home to some of the most valuable privately held and industry-specific data repositories in the world. The first version of AIP, which will constitute our fourth platform after Gotham, Foundry, and Apollo, is currently under development and will be available to an initial set of strategic partners in the coming weeks and no later than the end of May. We are proceeding with the early release of a working version of the platform with the intention of allowing AIP's capabilities, both intended and emergent, to reveal themselves over time through further use and refinement in the field. Our platform will be critical for allowing domain-specific proprietary networks to integrate and metabolize publicly available information alongside privately held data. The union of public data sets such as the corpus of text and information available on the Internet with privately held repositories of information maintained by government agencies and companies will transform the latest large language models into something more than objects of popular fascination. It will be the joining of the public and the proprietary in alignment with the idiosyncratic and industry-specific requirements governing the use of data in each domain that will ultimately unlock the full potential and operational value of these new systems. At the most foundational level, software provides an interface, a means of interacting between the human mind and a computational machine. There has always been some degree of friction in translating the desires and creative instincts of a human operator into direction that a computational system can understand and apprehend. The development and refinement of large language models alongside our existing machine learning capabilities has now opened up a whole new means of interacting with machines that has never before existed. 
This emerging group of technologies will ultimately allow not only thousands, but hundreds of thousands and even millions of users to interact with and manipulate data sets that until now have been functionally invisible to most people. Some degree of technical proficiency on the part of users has for the most part been required in order to meaningfully iterate with and interrogate a data set, or more often a constellation of dozens or even hundreds of integrated data sets with anything more than a basic set of queries or search parameters. With the advent of more generalized machine learning and natural language processing systems, anyone will now be able to ask layered and complex questions in plain English, and soon other languages as well, of data sets integrated within our platforms. An intelligence analyst working for an allied nation in Europe, for example, might prompt AIP as follows. The layered nature of this sort of query is what makes the ability of a user to interact and iterate with the system through plain language prompt so valuable, opening up data sets and data models for exploration by an entire class of non-technical analysts across an organization while ensuring that users are only able to interact with data to which they have access. We have spent decades constructing the foundational systems that are required for users to move from mere research and investigation to concrete action. The software we have built already allows enterprises to limit or expand the functionality of the software itself. It will soon allow users to move fluidly between the development and use of machine learning capabilities and large language models across public as well as private networks. Our software currently empowers individuals to engage with and further interrogate the provenance and reliability of the results produced by their lines of inquiry before making decisions. The addition of natural language processing capabilities within these systems will now significantly extend their impact and value. In the commercial and industrial contexts, the deployment of these technologies will be transformative. A scientist searching for new drugs at a large American pharmaceutical company, for example, might ask AIP the following. We are now developing a capability that will allow anyone through simple written questions to find the answer within seconds and iterate further through subsequent inquiries and the refinement of models an even further acceleration of progress will come from enabling the system to develop queries and iterate on its own. The results derived from these investigations, however, will only be useful and of operational value if they conform to ethical and legal norms. Such conformity is only possible if the data that is being queried has been integrated, as well as segmented and isolated, in alignment with the regulatory requirements of domain-specific private networks such as those imposed in the healthcare or intelligence contexts. The risks of these emerging artificial intelligence capabilities to individual rights, and even perhaps to our own physical safety, are significant and apparent to most. It may be the case that consciousness or self-awareness is not the result of a discrete or specific set of relationships within a network of connections, such as the human brain, but rather merely an emergent property of a sufficiently complex system. Put differently, consciousness, or its functional equivalent and therefore some form of autonomy might necessarily arise from a sufficient degree of complexity within an informational network. It is clear that the sophistication and complexity of these latest systems will only continue to increase. The challenge will be to ensure that such technologies remain subservient to our collective will. We must impose our values on the software that we create, otherwise it may impose an emergent and unconstrained set of values on us. It is essential that the systems we are constructing align with our directives and reflect our philosophical and moral commitments. Some have called for a pause on efforts to develop even more powerful versions of these emerging technologies, hoping perhaps that our adversaries will join us in considered reflection on the capabilities of such systems and their accompanying risks. To pause our current efforts, however, would be to indulge in the fantasy of a world without conflict. The applications of these newest forms of artificial intelligence have been and will continue to be determinative on the battlefield. Others can debate the merits of proceeding with the development of these technologies, but we will not stand still while our adversaries move ahead. Sincerely, Alexander C. Karp, Chief Executive Officer and Co-Founder, Palantir Technologies.